Hey guys, so we're now we're on NeoPixel two twelve. Okay, two ten. We talked about how to put a button in. Two eleven. We talked about some basic functions. This code is still from two eleven. I literally just I stopped recording it. Waited about ten seconds. Hit record again, and I'm talking more. <laughs> okay, so right now, if I hit the button, it's going to reverse the direction, right? Okay. So every time I hit it, it reverses, right? So what if I made a game out of this where I have to keep it in between, but it got faster every time? Let's uh, let's consider this, okay? So right now, under our loop, the pix timer is 80, right? It takes 80 milliseconds, and then it moves that pixel up or down, whatever direction we set. If I hit the button, it changes that direction, okay? So direction is currently positive one. Hit that button, now it's negative one, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, instead of plus equals 80, I'm gonna make a global variable called speed int speed equals 150, okay? And so, Every time, well, I guess I'll call it SPD. Keep away from the orange letters. So, pix timer plus equals SPD, right? Okay, if I hit that button, I want that speed to go up just a little bit here. Speed to go up? Well, that's kind of a weird way to say it. I want the delay to go down, <laughs> right? I don't want the speed to go up. Well, I do want the speed to go up, but to do that, the delay, which is causing it to slow, will go down, okay? So speed minus minus. Actually, we'll make it, makes us a little more uh, fast paced. Speed minus equals five, okay? So hit upload. Let's see if this works. Okay, so pretty slow there. I hit the button, I hit the button. Yeah, it's getting faster there. Getting a lot faster. Whoa. That's cruising. <laughs> and now it's completely gone out. Oh, no, it's definitely not. Okay. That's because we're, we just went negative and then we overloaded. We Well, I guess we underloaded the stack. <laughs> okay, so there's a bug there, right? So instead of speed minus equals five, let's do a speed equals... Max two comma speed minus five. So whichever one's taller, right? So speed or whichever one's bigger, whichever value is greater. So speed equals 150, speed minus five, 145 or two. Which one's bigger, right? So it's going to be 145, 140, 135, et cetera. Once we get down to five, once we hit five, speed minus five is zero. Now two is greater, right? So it's going to max out at two. Okay. So let's give that an upload and give that a try. And we won't overload the timer by doing that. So hit the button a bunch of times. Let's get this thing cruising. All right, going a little faster here. Hit it a few more times. Few more times. Now we're cruising. Yeah, now we're really cruising. <laughs> yeah, good luck keeping that in between. <laughs> right? Okay. So that is quite an increment there, right? So I'm gonna change the the setting here. So if speed is greater than 50, then we'll minus 5, right? Okay. Copy all this. If speed, I guess we'll do an else. 
to an else. Whoops. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Okay. If speed is greater than 50, everything inside these print or these curlies, right? Else, everything inside these curlies or braces, whatever you want to call them. I call them curly brackets. Okay. So now we're going to slow that increment down just a little bit. So now it's adding two every time. So it makes the game last a little longer. Okay. So now it's going to get uh it's going to get faster. Actually, we'll increase that to like 7. There we go. Start getting a little bit faster then the amount that it gets faster will slow down a little bit, but not compared to time. Anyways, okay. So now every time we push the button, I'm going to hit upload here. Okay. So the game is to keep it between without going over or under, right? So right now, if it goes over or under, we just send it back to the other side, right? And then same thing if we go this way, sends it back to the other side here. Okay. So what we want to do is say you lose. <laughs> okay. Instead of sending it back to the other side, we want to say, sorry, loser. So right now if I hit this, there we go. That's a better speed progression. Like, I can definitely, like... Oh, lost that one. That's going really fast, but I can still at least, like, see it. Oh, now I can't see it. Now it's all a blur. <laughs> cool. Okay. I'm going to hit reset on here. Reset it at the beginning there. Cool. Okay. So, currently... Every time the timer exceeds uh, the PIX timer, we turn that previous LED off. We add the direction to the PIX. Now, if we go over the top, we just set it to zero. If we go under the bottom, we set it to one, right? So let's instead change that, okay? So we're gonna say if PIX, instead of PIX equals zero, we're gonna say we're gonna do a couple things here. Actually, we're gonna do it on both, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So, if we go above the the top here, right on the LEDs, if we go above the top, if we lose, basically, let's see, we want to do yeah. How should we do this? I'm, I'm gonna do use the serum monitor because we're not quite to multiple things yet. Serial dot begin 115200 okay and then we'll do a so first of all let's say like how fast it was going so serial dot print we'll say you lose exclamation point exclamation point Okay. Oh, whoops. There we go. Semicolon. Okay. But you did good. <laughs> okay, so we want to print that one, and after it, go to the next line. We'll do a serial print LN. And then we're going to print score. Or speed. We'll do speed here. And we're going to have it print out the variable called speed. Cool. And make that go to the next line afterwards. Okay. Cool. And then what we want to do here is let people... Soak in that, right? Soak in their defeat for five seconds. And then we're going to say, I want to copy this one. There we go. We're 
I'm going to say try again. Try again. And then we're going to set speed back to 150. Right? And then picks back to zero. And direction back to one. There you go. Because if we set the picks in the middle, that's not a very good place to start, right? They only have half the time to start. If it starts here and it's going straight up, might not be quite enough time to catch it. If it starts down here, that's perfectly fine. And the direction is important because it starts down here and goes that way. Like, you better be real fast. <laughs> so we don't want to do that to people. We want to make sure that the speed set back to slow. The picks starts here and the direction is going this way. So people have time to catch it. Okay. Now, if the picks is less than zero, like if it goes over here, same thing, right? But we don't need to write all that. We can say if picks is greater than an LED count or, which is a two, wherever they are on the keyboard. My enter is weird. Yeah, my keyboard doesn't have some of those straight lines. Oh, boy, that's inconvenient. Okay. We'll go straight to the Arduino. Yeah, does my keyboard really not? Yeah, it's missing that because my enter is a fatty enter without those those little lines here. Documentation, reference. Well, in case yours is, let's go back down to structure. And then where's our or? There it is. But we want, there it is, logical or control C, come over here. Boy, I'll need to get a different keyboard. So if picks is greater than LED count, right? Greater than or equal. So if you went over LED count or you went under, picks is less than zero, then do all this stuff. And let's get rid of this. All right, hit upload. And then I'm going to open a serial monitor once it does upload. And it's going to call me a loser until I engage. All right. Let's me wallow in pity for a little bit. Oh, we got a bug here. I wonder what the bug is. Huh. Okay. So we set speed to 150, we reset it to 150. Picks equals zero, that's right. And direction equals one. Okay, let's let's take a look at the serial monitor. You lose what you did good. Okay. It goes instantly to the end. So why is that? Well, now we've got a bug in the game. All right, it should work, right? So if PIX is greater than LED count or PIX is less than zero, all right? So let's do some more serial printing out of curiosity here. So we're going to print. Whoops, that's the ORs. Let's figure out where it is here. We're just gonna print out picks. Let it compile. Yep, and then we hit 11. And then we go all the way up to 11. Okay, so what's stopping it? Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. I'll explain exactly why this is happening. Okay. So we have a delays mixed with mixed with a timer. Okay. So right now, timer equals millis, right? If timer is greater than picks timer, then do this, right? Okay. So picks timer plus equals speed. So let's say timer is at 1,000, right? 
picks timers at wherever at 1,000. Or I guess 1,001. So now picks timer plus equals speed. So now it's at 1150, right? What's going to happen is it's going to delay for five seconds. Five seconds worth of delay means that the timer, what is that? So I'll pull up my calculator here. 5,000 divided by 150 equals, so we're 33 increments behind, right? So it's going to have to run this 33 times for the PIX timer to exceed the speed, or for the PIX timer to exceed the timer. Okay, so to fix that bug, what we can do here is after it's done, after our delay here, we can do PIX timer equals timer plus 200. There we go. Okay, so we're going to reset the PIX timer based on the current timer. Oh, that won't work still because timer is set way out here. It's been sitting here for five seconds. That's still not going to change it. So let's actually pull directly from Millis. Okay, let's give this a try. So current time plus 200 milliseconds and see what happens. Okay, counts it up. Oh, you lost. Waits half a sec or waits five seconds. There it goes. All right. So because it reset the timer, we were able to do that. Okay, so now let's play. Let's try to keep it in between. Oh, it's getting fast now. Whoa. Oh, darn. I got it down to 33 milliseconds. All right, if you saw the, the serial timer there. Thirty-three again. <laughs> Maybe that's the edge of my skill. Oh, oh, there it goes. Seventeen. All right, now I'm a pro. <laughs> cool. Gives me a little bit of time to recover, wipe my tears away from losing, and try again. Cool. So this is our first game here. This is about speed and reaction. Okay, now I just know that I can hit that button faster and faster. So this video is just about over. I'm not going to exactly explain, you know, like how to do this. But instead of instead of minus seven, we can or minus two, we can say minus random. So it actually gets like randomly faster, or randomly slower. So we can we can get a little tricky here too. That way, like like you can't just predict when to hit it and like get used to it. Like you actually have to like watch it. <laughs> we can also make sure you can't hit it until the pixel is above this point, right? So over here, if you hit this button and you know latches not not holding it yet you can then do another if so if the direction is going this way and the pixel is above that direction or above the middle point then you let it reverse it so that way you can't just float over here right hit the button fast you actually have to wait for it to cross the center line and then go back i guess that means you hit it as fast as you can because if you're hitting it super fast here hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it and then once it's over you hit it then it goes so maybe that actually doesn't help yeah. Anyways, lots of things you can do this program. Uh, we're going to make one more game in the next one that's going to be similar to this. And it's, it'll be a much faster video next time. Thanks for watching, guys.